Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $96,848.58. In the past year I am up $23,306.56. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $5,926.48. Today was a very red day for me. During the day, I lost $4,743.26. After hours, I am up $573.03. Now, in the past week, I have lost $8,981.66. So, pretty much $9,000 lost in the past week. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $195 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $228.99. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $132. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $228. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return zero. I am selling Disney $90 puts. These are cash secured puts. Expiration date is August 9th. My total return, I am down $20. I'm selling Google $210 covered calls. These expired December 20th. My total return, $701. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, I am down $50. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expired December 20th. My total return, $3. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $181.44. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $24,738.73. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.14. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $9,100.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90. My average cost, $60. My total return, $9,000. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $172.93. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,045. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $58.22. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $104. This is a margin account. My margin total is $90,294.15. My margin use is $53,246.45. My options collateral is $29,000. This leaves me with $8,047.70. My margin status is low risk. 
my buffer is $30,158.30. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest that I'm paying is $9.56. And I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So today, as you can see, $4,743.26 lost during the day. Almost $5,000 lost in a single day. Insane. Um, yeah, I am back below 100K again. I'm at 96,000. It's crazy. If you look at the past week, at the beginning of the week, I was like $106,000. But it's just crashed since then. I've lost over $9,000 in the past week alone. It's a huge chunk of my portfolio gone uh, in a very short amount of time. So not happy about it. But I'm still holding on. Now, it's not just me. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going through the same thing. If we look at uh, S&P... It's also been going down in the past week, 3.52%. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are active investors who pick individual stocks that are part of the S&P, they probably are also suffering some losses today and in the past week as well. Now, I don't think there's anything new today to report in my portfolio. My positions are the same as before. It's just that... My positions <laughs> lost a lot of money today um, and recently. So what am I going to do about it? Like I said, I haven't changed any positions. I'm just simply holding on to the ones I have. And if I do decide to change anything, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I haven't really changed anything at all. The biggest loser in my portfolio today is actually Google in terms of stocks. Google is down 5% today, during the day. All of my positions uh, are red today for the stocks. I guess the one that did the least bad is Disney. Disney was only down 1.23% today. But they're going through some troubles as well. So... Verizon did go up. Verizon went up 2.2%, 2.02%, but I don't have shares of Verizon. I actually have the put credit spreads, which, I mean, that still works in my favor. If we look at today's return, plus $400 for today's return. So at least that's something. McDonald's also, I think McDonald's, oh no, McDonald's was also red. Very slightly, down 0.22%. But I have uh, the put credit spreads on those as well. Now, something that is very unusual for my portfolio, I usually never do this. However, I'm selling these cash secured puts. Usually, I sell calls, covered calls, but this one time I'm deciding to sell Disney $90 puts I'm selling them so if everything goes well I'll gain some premium uh, when in this expires on August 9th which is coming up if everything goes well I'll gain a couple hundred dollars and that's pretty much it like the small amount of premium they help out a little bit they help ease the burden so I guess that's one of the um, upsides of covered calls and other strategies that, you know, generate premium. Um, they help ease the loss a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. But uh, especially the way I do it, it doesn't make a huge, huge difference in my losses. But at least I, um, I make like couple hundred dollars in premium yeah like for my Amazon ones I made over two hundred dollars so if I did not have the covered calls then I would be two hundred dollars 
less rich that would be added to my losses but yeah I'm really sad to see that I went from steadily holding above 100k for a little while but now it seems like history is repeating itself and I'm back below again um, wild swings this year up and down wild swings either way but in the past week been a very red week over nine thousand dollars lost all right I do think eventually I'm re gonna recover from this I think I can recover eventually but uh, <laughs> it might take a while I don't know I'll keep on making more portfolio updates so I'll let you guys know what happens in the future but that's pretty much all I have to report for this portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll keep on making more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.